Hey everyone, today's makeup tutorial is inspired by a photo I saw of Kendall Jenner. So it's a very bronzy, glowy kind of makeup look, a lot of lashes and gloss. So I hope you guys enjoy this makeup tutorial and you can recreate it yourself at home. So to start off today, I'm using my NARS All Day Luminous Foundation in the colour Fiji. I'm just blending this into my skin using a damp beauty blender. And following this, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Concealer. This one is in the lightest shade. You want to really get a lot of highlight and lightness to the face with this look. That's why I'm applying it all under the eye area and also down the center of the face as well. And then blending it out with the same beauty blender. Next, I'm just setting all that in place with my L'Oreal Infallible Powder. And then I'm just grabbing my MAC Brow Pencil filling in my brows and then I'm going to set them in place with a brow gel by Rimmel London. So following this I'm grabbing a NYX Jumbo eyeshadow pencil in the colour 609 and I'm just applying it all over the lid and I'm patting it in up to the crease. Next just using a MAC black eyeliner to line the upper lash line and then I'm grabbing the colour Radar from my Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette and I'm patting this all over the lid and I'm kind of creating almost like an almond shape with the eye to make them more like candles. So basically you just want to layer this colour as much as you can. You can also apply it underneath the lower lash line and then now I'm blending it out with a clean blending brush. From the same palette I'm using the colour High and I'm using this in the inner tear duct and also going down on the lower lash line and then up onto the lid as well just slightly but keeping it focused on that inner corner. And then from the same palette, I'm grabbing Dirty Sweet, which is a beautiful gold tone. And I'm kind of using this color in between the two colors that I just used. This is just going to help to kind of blend them all together and also brighten up the look a little bit. And I'm also going to use a shade on the lower lash line as well to blend the two colors together once again. So with mascara, I'm going to apply about two to three coats, top and bottom. So you want a lot of thickness and volume with this look. I used my Chanel Le Volume Mascara. And then I also use these Ardell short lashes just between my natural lashes to give a lot more um, volume with the look. I use probably about six per eye and focus on the outer corner. So now I'm grabbing a blush by Makeup Geek. This is in the color Infatuation and I've used this as a bronzer many times because it's a really good shade for a bronzer. So I'm focusing on the outer section of the face, mainly the kind of temples, cheekbones, up onto the forehead. You really want to give that sun-kissed look and a lot of depth with this because Kendall seems to have a lot of bronzer on. And I'm also using it on the nose as well. And then I'm just going back in with my Beauty Blender just to kind of blend um, my foundation color with that bronzer and make it a bit more seamless. So next I'm going to grab another blush by Makeup Geek. This is in the color Spellbound, which is a pinky neutral color. And I'm just blending it into that other color I use for bronzer. And then I'm grabbing Light Scapade by MAC, which is a skin finish. I'm using this on the forehead, down the center of the face, and on the cheekbones. You really want to use quite a bit of this. You want to give that really nice glow to the skin. But the good thing about this skin finish is that it doesn't look too shimmery. It just gives a nice glow to the skin, which I love. Next, I'm just lining my lips with my NYX Natural Lip Liner. And then I'm using two Chanel Glosses. This first one I'm outlining my lips with, this is called Sweet Beige, it's number 297. And then I'm using the color or the number 164, another Chanel gloss, which is a very light pink. So I decided to use this one in the center of the lips and the other darker one on the outside and it looked quite nice together. So this is the end result. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found another way to wear your Urban Decay Naked Smoky palette. So thanks so much for watching guys, hope you enjoyed and see you in my next video.